YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mindy and I budget every month and I am going to take you through our January 2023 budget. So a couple things to know about our budget is everything we make in the previous month goes towards our expenses in the next month. So everything we made in December would go towards our expenses in January. However, I do have a caveat to that this month. We uh, just found out that we will be down to one income. So we're going to save a lot of what we made in December in case this budget goes awry. So we are just going to budget off of our one income. So that is what you are going to see. So I'll take you over to the budget so you can see what we are working with. So the income that we are working with for January is $3,160. And you'll see a lot of expenses that we have to cut. So if this is, uh, so if you are new to my channel, this, there'll be some slashes, but if you've watched these before, you'll notice that we had to cut a lot of expenses to make this work. So we're working in our fixed expenses right now. Mortgage, $1,150. Our internet is 75. Our water, sewer, and garbage is, um, I'm estimating about $95. Our electricity for our home is $185. And then gas to heat our home is $53. Our cell phone bill is $220. That is um, some connected devices as well. So we have iPads and we have cell phones and they're all on our cell phone plan. So $220. You can see we had to take out um, Peloton, so we won't be paying for that next month. We also won't be paying for Hulu, but we decided to keep Peacock because that was only a dollar. And then we had to um, tell our house cleaner that we could not keep her on. So that is also taken out of the budget. And then we are still going to do $100 cash for Mad Money, just so we don't have to track the expenses that we use that for. All right, so all of our fixed expenses work out to be $1,879. And we'll move on down to investing and saving. So we had to stop all of our investing and saving uh, at the moment. So we have nothing going um, to M1, Acorns, our 529 plans, our brokerage, or our IRA. The goal, I. I made a goals video, our goals for 2023, which was kind of hard to make after we got the news that we would be down to one income. Um, and so our goals are to max out our retirement accounts. We just can't do it. My hope is that we will have another income and quickly, but for this month and the foreseeable future, we have no investing or saving. All right, so then we'll move down to our variable expenses. expenses. So these are just projected and I have no idea um, if this is even going to work, but this is what we're planning for. So wish me luck. So gas, we dropped down to $150. And I'm hoping that's high. That's about three fill ups, which is probably about right. So food, food we budgeted $600. Um, so that's $150 a week. And I, I know for a fact that's going to be tight. So what I am going to try and do is grocery shop twice a month, once on the first, on or around the first, and once on or around the 15th and do a twice a month grocery shopping deal and have that be $300. Um, 
and we'll see. We took restaurants and I'll try and film it for you guys to see how we're doing. But um, we took restaurants out entirely. Uh, and then Costco, we have $150. And that will mostly be vitamins and dog food. And then our miscellaneous is still $50 just in case something comes up. So our total variable expenses are $950. And then we come down to sinking funds. So there are still some items that we have to save for, but most of them we zeroed out. So. Um, we have $331 going towards sinking funds, but if we overspend or go over, it's going to come out of here. So we have $75 going to our car insurance. That's coming out in April. So we need to make sure we have the money set aside for that. And then our car registration, $15. We've got both of our cars coming due this next year. So we need to make sure we have the money for that. And then you can see everything else has nothing until we get to our escrow account. So our escrow account is going to get $241. We did just pay half of our property taxes. So, um, so that won't be coming due it for six months, but I want to make sure that we've got money in there for when it does come due. Um, everything else we have taken out for this season, um, that we are in while we are down to one income. So I'm really hoping that, uh, we can live off of it. Whatever we have, um, left over at the end of December, I'm going to put, I have this, I changed this it used to be our real estate sinking fund. Um, but that's where extra money is going to go. So if we need to pull money to cover something, then we'll pull it out of there before we'd pull it out of our emergency fund. Um, and we're just gonna try and be smart with our spending and make sure that we're taking care of our four walls and making sure that we're eating. So, um, so $331 for our sinking funds which leaves us with zero left. So everything in and everything out, we're all budgeted. So we are we have a zero-based budget. Uh, I will let you know how we do at the end of the month. I will give you an updated spending report and see how close we were to this budget. If you have any tips or tricks for us during this season, just go ahead and leave them down below. Really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.